Make sure that 
manifest in some type of illness that it is physical, then you need to work with physical medicine, I think. I think a lot of people get lost in this um, and, and feel like it has to be one or the other. Feels like it has to be one or the other when it's not that at all. It is all involved. We need to get you as many resources as possible for you to be able to have access to what you need. So, jumping back into the example that I was using where things are like so t -t 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 tiny, basically, to change someone's energetic flow when they are not feeling well is similar to changing their energetic flow when they want this dream job. Why? Because there is a false sense of reality going on, and this false sense of reality is working with your current energetic system. It has you in a routine or pattern to do things a certain way. You just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. But instead, what you need to do is change that energetic flow. Now, what's going to happen when you change that energetic flow to open you up and bring more in your life? It's going to get... Um, let me not even say it like this. However you respond to change is exactly how it's going to feel. So if you're the type of person who embraces change, it's going to be exciting. If you're the type of person who fears change, it's going to be dissonant and uncomfortable. But that's the most important part to know. The reason that you're being blocked from getting what you want is because you're too afraid to accept a bigger life than what you have. The reason why you're being blocked from getting what you want is you're too afraid to accept a bigger life that you could have and the responsibilities that you need to have, you know, uh, with, um, what is it, greater power comes greater responsibilities. It requires you to do, to do more. That can be a little bit intimidating, especially if the solar plexus is off. So here, we are going into now manifesting to bring into your life now. In your hands, go ahead and put your hands out. Just put your hand on my hand. you are resting, okay? I'm just moving. You can give me both hands. Just take both of them. Or mentally as well. When you are resting, you are bringing this energy in and bringing this energy out. So I want you to practice energetically letting go and let that exhale uh, align with the letting go. So let it go. Now bring it on in, let it go, and bring it on in, let it go, bring it on in, let it go, bring it on in, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to accept this beautiful life that is in front of you. step of whatever that is in trust no matter how scary or no matter how you feel like it might be difficult that the universe has you and also remember this point I was bringing this up when talking about energy healing practitioners that it is vibrational medicine that it is a part of alternative medicine and that you utilize it differently for different things that you want to do but Having a spiritual relationship is not required to be an energy healing practitioner or to work with energy. It's not required at all. The reason why I choose and I don't force other people to have that if you don't want to use it, if you, if you want to separate, you have something else you believe in or you don't believe in, that's fine. The reason why I do it is because you have to believe in something bigger in order to you through those moments that are scary. So the moments that you need to sit and you need to just embrace for me, and I'm not saying that this is everybody, this is what everybody needs. For me, I think of the universe, I think of source, I think of God, whatever it is you want to call it, that you feel comfortable calling it. That's what I think of. That is what I call out to. Thank you universe for blessing me, giving me so much, giving me this opportunity. That's what I 
upset by your spiritual freedom and want to kind of push you down into this is right and this is wrong. Let them do whatever they need to do. Let them live their life and let yourself live your life. But also know that if you're going to be able to let this stuff go and embrace something bigger, embrace a bigger life, you should have some type of connection. And I'm not telling you what the connection is. The connection could be, I just believe in humanity. I believe in the energy flowing around us. I believe in a set, you know, wisdom tradition. But you need something there because without it, you will burn out. There are many, many energy healing practitioners who burn out because they do not have that connection. They're using their own life force energy instead of being able to connect with something bigger. Again, I know this is more of stuff that we talk about on um, Patreon where we really go into these things, but it is important for you to know as well as you are releasing and letting go in this moment. So now that we're bringing in, we're manifesting, feel yourself being clear, feel yourself being relieved of the pressure that you had before, and feel yourself warming up and opening yourself up to be able to have this big life and accept change without fear, to know that if you have to walk off a mountain that you're going to fly, just know it, you don't know how to fly, you're going to fly, but I never knew how to fly, it's going to happen. What is expanding? What is 